Collection and Cryopreservation of Oligospermia This video introduces method to freeze oligospermia using cryotop. This new method is from St. Mother Hospital Infertility Clinic and is unique in that it uses only sucrose and no permeable cryoprotectant such as glycerol in the freeze solution. This unique solution without glycerol is available from Kitazato as Oligospermia Cryo Kit. Four steps for oligospermia freeze technique using cryotop are introduced here. Step 1 shows how sperm are collected by microtessi, microdissection testicular sperm extraction. Collect seminiferous tubes from the testes under an operating microscope. Sort the seminiferous tubes from the harvested tissue under a stereo microscope and then cut them into small pieces with 27 gauge needles. Shredding and collagenase allows the cells to disperse and facilitates the retrieval of sperm. Step 2 shows how to collect good sperm. This is a procedure to aspirate good sperm with a tessie sperm pickup pipette and transferring them into a collection drop. Step 3 introduces the sperm freeze method using cryotop. From the collection drop, aspirate the sperm from the tail with a pipette and transfer them to the sperm freeze solution prepared on cryotop. Immediately place a cryotop on a flute or sperm freeze board and expose it to liquid nitrogen vapor. Step 4 shows the thawing method of the cryopreserved sperm. Remove the cryotop from liquid nitrogen and leave it for 2 seconds in air. Then, transfer it in a drop of HTF with albumin. Immobile sperms are transferred to pentoxifilin to check the survivability. If they do not move there, proceed to host test to confirm the survivability. The following ICSI procedure can be done according to lab standard protocol. Now, let us show you the actual video image. Step 1. Microtessi. Collect seminiferous tubule with microtessi. The seminiferous tubule is opaque, thick, and bent. Some parts look homogeneously elongated. For tessi, collect samples from the areas that appear white and thick, where sperm are expected to be there. Prepare dishes for tessi. Assess the condition of the tissue and separate the seminiferous tubules in modified HTF with albumin. Transfer the collected tubules to the 30 microliter collagenase drop prepared in a glass bottom dish and cut them into small pieces with the 27 gauge needles. The use of a glass bottom dish prevents scratches on the bottom and makes observation easier. After sectioning, examine the specimen under an inverted microscope for the presence of sperm or germ cells. Step 2. How to collect good sperm. If sperm are present, examine the motility and morphology. If no sperm are present, examine for the presence of other germ cells, such as round spermatid. If there was sperm, Transfer the shredded sperm suspension to the drop of HTF with albumin. This is for the preparation for the following sperm freeze procedure. 1 microliter drops for temporary sperm collection are prepared with a micropipette each time. The number of sperm to be cry-preserved on a cryotop is 3 to 10 depending on the case. Micromanipulators are used to collect motile sperm into the 1 microliter drops. Step 3. Sperm freeze method with cryotop. Prepare a cryotop. First, attach the cryotop to the glass slide and secure it will not move. Slide the dish away from the microscope lenses and place both the dish and the cryotop side by side so that they are both visible. Make a 2 microliter drop of the sperm freeze at the tip of the cryotop. Aspirate the sperm in the drop from the tail with a Tessie pickup pipette. 
To ensure quick and efficient aspiration, drops must be large enough to give clear visibility of the sperm tail. Aspirating from the tail allows the sperm to swim to the tip of the pipette, thus more reliably expelling all sperm into the free solution on the cryotop. Adjust the stage to align the pipette with the cryotop. Be careful not to allow the free solution on the cryotop to evaporate. Slide the stage and quickly inject the sperm into the free solution. Put the specimen on a float or sperm freeze board on liquid nitrogen and cover its container with a lid. Expose the tip of the cryotop in the vapor of liquid nitrogen at minus 105 degrees Celsius for two minutes to freeze it. The sperm freeze board keeps the cryotop two centimeters above the surface of liquid nitrogen and stabilize the temperature to cool specimens. After two minutes, plunge the cryotop in liquid nitrogen at minus 196 degrees Celsius. Step four, thawing method of the cryopreserved sperm. Prepare a dish as it shows before starting sperm thaw. Equilibrate the prepared dish in a 5% CO2 incubator for at least two hours. The HTF medium is used for both sperm thaw and ICSI. Take out the cryotop from liquid nitrogen and keep it two seconds in the air. Immerse the tip of the cryotop into a thawing drop warmed to 37 degrees Celsius. Check presence of recovered motile sperm in the drop under the microscope. Motile sperm are often found at the drop rim. If immobile sperm is observed, proceed to the following step. Transfer the sperm to a pentoxifilin drop and check if it starts to move. If the sperm remain immobile after one minute, perform a Haas test to confirm viability. If sperm motility or viability is confirmed, perform ICSI procedure according to the protocol of each facility. It is all for the collection and cryopreservation of oligospermia. Kitazato offers products to follow the method described in this video. We recommend this technique for severe male infertility treatment.